Breaking, Iran issues nasty warning to Trump, they went too far. The Iran nuclear deal is causing quite the controversy after President Trump scrutinized some of the flaws of the deal. An answer has been received from Iran as to how they feel about all of this. The senior commander of Iran's Quds Force has spoken up about the United States' decision to possibly do away with the Iran deal. According to Briat Bart, they said that it would be regretted to do away with the deal. The commander went on to say that they have buried many like Trump. This is being viewed as a direct threat, and is causing concern with top-ranking officials. We are not a warmongering country. But any military action against Iran will be regretted. Trump's threats against Iran will damage America. We have buried many. Like Trump and know how to fight against America, Ismail Ghani stated. Ghani works with the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, IRGC. He currently heads the Quds Force, a branch of IRGC. In terms of power, security forces do not get more powerful in Iran than the IRGC. The group controls most of Iran's economy, and also play a pivotal role in their political system. News of this statement came a mere two days after Iran's foreign minister claimed there would be a reaction if President Trump decided to get rid of Obama's infamous nuclear deal. Mohammad Javad Zarif spoke to Parliament Wednesday and announced that Iran will never renegotiate the terms of the nuclear deal. At the same time, world leaders are trying to convince the president that he should keep the nuclear deal in effect in order to keep the peace. President Trump is more interested in decertifying the agreement so that it would pass the Congress. Under decertification, the deal would still remain active. It would then be up to Congress to decide whether the deal should remain active and, if so, what changes would need to be made to the deal. The British Prime Minister, Theresa May, is urging the president to keep the deal around, citing that it is crucial for regional security. While they critique Trump for his decision, no one seems to have anything to say about how Iran has breached the nuclear deal on numerous occasions. On not just one, but two separate instances, Iran breached the deal by passing the 130 metric ton threshold of heavy water going into the country. Heavy water can be used to make weaponized plutonium. The components that go into creating a nuclear weapon are very complex, and require a great deal of sophisticated technology and intelligent engineers to pull it all together. It's somewhat easy for a nation state to hide much of their weapons research, so one way we try to stay on top of our monitoring efforts is to track the ingredients, heavy water, yellow cake, of nuclear bombs going in or out of a country. Question 